Whoa, guys, what's going on? I'm so glad that wow, you were able to join here. Gotta jump down that little bank there. We are not even gonna mess around uh, today. We are hunting for salmon. We are fully armed with a bobber rod and a twitching rod. On the bobber rod, we've got a little, little shrimp tail on there, cured shrimp tail. And then uh, on the jig twitching rod, we've got a jig tipped with a little piece of shrimp as well. Uh, we've got spinners with me. Uh, look at this beautiful place that we're at. For anyone that's new to this channel, uh, this is another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets, uh, where we have fun fishing in Washington. And my name is Life. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some salmon. There are literally fish everywhere in this river, everywhere. There's chum salmon, there's uh, still some Chinook, there are lots of coho. Um, <laughs> you can see dead salmon laying around here everywhere, and the pink salmon are pretty much done. I think there's a few little pinks still swimming around, but they're pretty much zombies at this point. Uh, but we're gonna try and catch, oh, I thought that was a fish, but it was a freaking duck. Uh, but we're gonna try and catch a chum salmon or coho. We're so lucky in Washington. Look <laughs> there's salmon swimming around right there. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get real. I'm gonna try and cross the river somewhere over here. And I'm thinking that's gotta be a good spot. There's tons of snags, so if we hook into a big chum, uh, it might get interesting, but uh, we gotta figure out how to get over there first. Wow, guys, that was quite the uh, detour. Could not get through the woods there. <laughs> so I'm hoping that there's a way to cross through the river over here. Current is freaking ripping. I definitely don't want to get swept in there, so we might not be able to make it over there, guys. It might not work out. Dang. All right, well, we'll find something else. This here doesn't even look too bad, but man, I wouldn't want to hook a fish and get pulled into that. Oh, look at that poor girl. Oh, she is tired. Oh man, guys. Okay, so here's something we were talking about in the comments on uh, one of my last videos. Oh, it was the one uh, where I ate the raw salmon eggs at the river. Check that one out actually, if you guys have not seen it, it's actually quite delicious. Um, nitrile gloves laying around. And I'm pretty, oh yeah, look at that. There's eggs here. So someone else was fishing with eggs. You know, it's totally fine if you wanna use gloves because some people are concerned about the cure getting on their skin uh, and I get it, but just clean up. Oh guys, look at that. There's more gloves over here. Just clean up your, your stuff after yourself. All right, we're gonna pack this out, but uh, this area looks kind of good. We might start fishing here a bit. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? There was a, God, how did I miss that? Literally, there was a coho hanging out right here by that log. Wow, I gotta be stealthier. Oh, guys, there's a big chum, a huge chum, sitting right there underneath us. So I'm trying to see if we can provoke him to bite. I hope he can't see me up here. The water is so clear. But I'm trying to provoke this guy. Come on, come on. You know you want that little jig. There it is, there it is. Oh, oh, he snapped at it. Guys, I don't know if you saw that in the video. He actually snapped at it. Oh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, he's checking it out. He's swimming over to it, guys. This is so exciting. I've never uh, been able to sight fish a salmon like this before. The river is so clear right now. And he's just kind of hanging out there. Oh, there he comes again. Ah, man, he didn't, uh, he's not committing to it. I had him snap at it once. Oh, oh, guys, he just came after it again. 
He's leaving us. Such a beautiful big fish. <sighs> but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave the spot here. We're gonna move on a little further down river again, uh, where the fish seem to hold more. I'm seeing some fish pass. We almost got one chum to bite. He was taking snaps at that jig. We're gonna head back down there where I had more luck. All right, guys, we're gonna head back to the uh, original spot where we started. Cleaned up a little bit of trash laying around here. Got a big old, what is that? A big old uh, Slurpee cup, 7-Eleven. So after collecting a little bit of trash on the way back, I met up with one of my awesome subscribers. His name is Christian. Uh, he actually ended up catching a crazy fish that day uh, that's gonna be for another video. Christian, what's going on, man? Not much so far. Not much so far? Dude, I, I thought I heard screaming and chum <laughs> action back here. So Christian and I were just having this awesome conversation. Salmon have it like almost figured out, almost figured out. They live their entire lives, you know, they're these little babies born in this kind of cool mystical place that they just always remember all their lives. And then they're in the ocean eating and getting fat and happy. And then after a couple of years, you know, rumor spreads that there's this Eden, this place up in the rivers where we'll call it a uh, party happens with a bunch of other salmon. So they all come up here and just expend all their energy to party real quick. And they party so hard that they die. And then I was thinking like they've got it figured out. But then you know who really has it figured out? Steelhead. That's right, Steelhead. They come up here, do the whole thing. They party and then they're like, guys, you know what? Let's just go back in the ocean. For real though, we're gonna get some uh, steelhead here this winter. Definitely excited to catch some steelhead. This feels more like bobber fishing in a pond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so after a little while bobber fishing with Christian, using both eggs as well as uh, cured shrimp, we just didn't have any luck at all. So I ate a little good luck banana that looked about as nasty as the fish swimming by and cleaned up a little bit of trash as always. And uh, after that, did something that, again, you guys have been asking for, and that was switch back to the jig. I really did not expect a whole lot to happen because I have still never caught a salmon on the jig. Got close up there on the river with that chum earlier, but check out what happened next. Oh, another one just uh, jumped right over there. What was that? Uh, I, oh. Oh. Trying it, jig, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> shit. Oh, guys, unbelievable, that might be my first fish on a jig. Coho on the jig, what's up? Yes, yes, first freaking fish on the jig. Oh, okay, let's see if, uh, here, I wanna get it in the water. Oh, that's not very clean water, but I want to kind of keep it alive because I'm not sure if I want to keep the fish. Oh, dude. Oh, it better be filming. Oh, it is. Yes, it is filming. I, I was worried there, guys, that we didn't film this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've really been listening to you guys in the comments on how to fish these jigs and Sam, now we just got to make a spinner happen. A, a lot of you said that the fish take it on the drop, and I think that's what happened here. Um, I, I just felt something slam into it all of a sudden and, and he just went crazy. But uh, just, just little pops, just pop, pop, pop. And I guess fish go for it, especially coho from what I hear from you guys are just crazy for, uh, for jigs. So let's go ahead and take a look at this fish. Um, we're gonna decide real quick if we wanna keep him or not. If not, we need to just get him right back into the water so he doesn't get harmed. Okay, don't be fooled, he's laying there, but he's still full of energy. Once I lift him, he's probably gonna go a little crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I don't want to hurt him. We're just gonna pop him right over there. Oh, oh, oh don't, don't bonk yourself. Okay, awesome. Look at that. Beautiful fish. So there's a little bit of current here. I'll let him kind of sit there and breathe some of that really fresh oxygenated water. Let's go ahead, and get him over here in the river. There we go. Guys, that's just absolutely beautiful. Just check out where we are. I mean, 
Does it get any better than that? Here we are, beautiful, crystal clear river. Look how clear this water is. Coho here biting on the jig. Gotta be thankful for moments like that. Um, to think about uh, what these fish have been through to get all the way up here. So make sure to obviously have fun when you're fishing, but you know, enjoy the, enjoy just every aspect of it is something that I think I wanna drive home to people is don't just enjoy bringing meat home. If you wanna bring meat home, go to Safeway. It's a lot cheaper when you really do the math. Or Fred Meyer, Costco, whatever. Wherever the good deals are. That's when I hooked that coho there and started bringing him back. I thought I was running through the shallow part to get to shore, but... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> we ran into that deep pool and it was chest deep, but luckily my uh, I didn't go past the top of the waders, so I'm still dry. I'm gonna try and twitch through that little pool there real quick. Oh, there, oh, guys, there's a freaking salmon right in front of us. Let's see if we can entice him. Come on, dude, it's right in your face. <laughs> he didn't want to go after it. Oh, no. Guys, we got stuck. Not this jig. Come on. No! I lost my lucky jig! <laughs> Shit. Oh, dang it. All right, guys, it's just me down at the river now. Uh, Christian had to take off. Well, that was super cool to get to fish with him again. Uh, he's one of my original subscribers, actually. So uh, we had gone fishing once before out on uh, one of our boats. And, um, and now today at the river. All right, guys, we're gonna get this jig down to the water. Literally, there's coho all over the frickin' place. Yeah, see if we can twitch right past this one's nose and see what the heck happens here. Oh, no, it scared him. Dang it, dang it, I accidentally touched him. Ah, that's irritating, I spooked that fish, guys. <laughs> guys, look at that, there's a, uh, uh, an old coho, very small one, but it's it's old. You can see it's almost black in color, swimming right there in front of us. Oh! <laughs> it just, <laughs> do you guys see that? It jumped over the uh, the thing there. Well, we'll let that one keep uh, moving on. And we'll get back to our hole here. I know that there's uh, definitely some fresher coho in here that might be interested in a bite. That's a fish. Unfreaking real. Yes. Oh, it took that freaking jig. I can't believe it, guys. I just, I don't know if it's just that the bite is all of a sudden on, but what is it about these fish that's making them uh, take these jigs all of a sudden? Oh, it's a nice, uh, nice coho, guys. That might be something we want to keep. Go ahead and bring it over here. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful uh, female coho. It's a hatchery fish, very nice fish. Yeah, it took that uh, little pink jig there. Unreal. Uh, you know what? I didn't think I wanted to keep any fish today, but this is actually a really nice fish. Uh, so we are gonna keep her. All right, guys, so we uh, just bonked that fish and I uh, just got a couple pictures with her. But what was interesting was while I was taking the pictures, I noticed that uh, she started getting darker and darker. It's crazy. When we first landed her, she was fairly chromey looking and she's still got a bit of a chrome tint to her, but she's definitely a little bit dark. 
Um, but this coho is actually still in pretty good shape. Coho hold up uh, quite well in the rivers. So she's already bonked, but we're just gonna take her over uh, to our spot, uh, bleed her out real fast. Uh, that way we get the best meat quality when we get home. And uh, we will throw the jig a little bit more and see if we can catch something else. But uh, this is already a pretty darn good ending of the day. I am going to go ahead and I've got still half a day left. So I'm gonna go and film another episode actually. I still need to catch a chum salmon, guys. I'm gonna head up there, film one more episode. We'll see you guys next week. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel and wanna see more awesome Washington State fun and fishing. Lastly, go ahead and smash that like button if you have not already. Thank you so much. We will see you guys for the next adventure. Until then, fish on.